Welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we will discuss about the wiring configuration of the 4 to 20 milliamps transmitters. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos. Transmitters are available with wide variety of the signal outputs. 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal is by far the most commonly used in the industrial applications. Several physical 4 to 20 milliamp wiring options exist. In this video, we will outline these options. Industrial transmitters are available for monitoring many parameters. These include pressure, temperature, flow and the gas detectors. Transmitters offer 4 to 20 milliamps outputs where 4 milliamps equates to a zero reading and 20 milliamps equate full-scale reading of the calibrated range. This signal is sent to remotely located control panel. The control panel use this signal and perform actions via relay contacts or show alarms on the HMI screens. Transmitter typically require a 24 volt DC supply. This supply can be derived to the local transmitter or supply direct from the associated control panel. There are several type of the wiring exist for the 4 to 20 milliamp transmitters. Most common wiring configuration are 2 wire, 3 wire and 4 wire configuration. 2 wire loop power transmitters. This configuration supplies power and 4 to 20 milliamp signal over a 2 wire loop connection. Not all transmitters can be wired in this format and must be specifically designed to accommodate this configuration. Advantages for this type of configuration is that it has low power consumption and only two core cable is required from control panel to the transmitter. It also has some disadvantages. Transmitter discrete fault signaling cannot be set at zero milliamps as this configuration continues to draw some current in the fault condition. This configuration is not suitable for the control panels that require 0 milliamp signal for fault indication. Fully isolated 4-wire connection. The transmitter and control panel use separate power supplies. The 4 to 20 milliamp signals flow through separate cable cores between the transmitter and the control panel. It is assumed that the power to drive the 4 to 20 milliamp loop is derived from the control panel. The advantages for this type of connection is that electrical interference on the voltage supply lines will not be transferred to 4 to 20 milliamp signal line. Reducing the risk of false signals being received at control panel end. The disadvantages for this type of connection is that we need 4 core cable instead of 2 core cable. And another thing is that we need separate power supply for both transmitter and the control panel. 3 wire non isolated transmitter. This is the most common configuration of the modern 4 to 20 milliamps transmitters. The transmitter and control panel can use the same 24 volt and 0 volt DC lines. The 4 to 20 milliamp signal flows through the 24 volt DC line and the signal line to the PLC controller. This type of wiring configuration needs only 3 core cable from the control panel to the transmitter. And we need a common power supply for both transmitter and the control panel or the PLC. The disadvantages for this type of configuration is that any electrical interference may be transmitted along the signal line, which could generate a false alarm in the control panel. That's the end of the today's session. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming video tutorials. Till next video, take care and goodbye.